All right, we got some news coming out of hip hop. Gillian Wallow, shout out to them brothers, man. Did an interview with 50 Cent. Interview is currently at close to a half a million, I believe. But they did an interview. They talked about several different topics, you know, from business to personal personal beefs and so on and so forth. But a couple things that stood out to me, 50 was talking about, he, you know, he was talking about not being tough and what his definition of being gangsta now is. Let me play this audio for y'all so y'all can hear exactly what he said. Tough is not my goal, man. I don't care about this. Right. You know what's gangster to me? It's to live the way you want to live. To not have to answer the people to change things. Another thing Fifth was talking about was how we control the culture. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us say that. We say for the culture, culture this, culture that. But just listen to how he's saying how powerful we are. Most of us don't even realize this. Let me play the audio for y'all. Our culture is so strong. Bro, when you look at high end, if we don't wear it, it don't sell. Right. It will not sell if we don't wear it. Right. We control cool. That completely. Yes. We always control cool. And I, and I agree a thousand percent. You know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, when we were wearing Jordans, Air Force Ones, some people had British Knights, Reebok Classics, and then as far as like just clothing, what we wear? Fat Farm, Rockaway, Sean John. FUBU, y'all remember how FUBU was what? Making $350 million a year at one point? We was rocking our own clothes, man. Yeah, yeah, they were, the shirts was fine. We was wearing five XTs and all of that, but they were all our brands. It was us, we made our own stuff cool. And then all of a sudden we just jumped off of it. And what we started doing, we started wearing designer clothes for the Prada and the Louis Vuitton. And is that's why you think they hired for real? And Virgil and all these other different people, Kanye West, all these people, because they know that if we put our, if we stamp it, it moves. When I went over to China, man, you look at the, in the airport, they got all these high-end fashion designers or fashion brands. Everybody that's on the pictures look like us. Why? We moved the needle. So even if we just went back to saying, you know what? And I'm not saying just crock wear, but we gonna wear our own brands. You know how much it will blow overnight? But most of us, we don't realize that, man. We just, we don't like wearing our stuff no more. It's sad that it became uncool. And then he also just had several other things to say, man. He talked about the beef with Ja Rule, how they tried to block him. And most people know that. And even though, you know, Irv Gotti reportedly had a stroke and 50 going in on him. Wow, I hope Irv Gotti get better. I see why they beef going on because they blocked him so much. Even Irv said, I blocked him so much. I didn't realize that he would go over there with him and Dre. And then their careers flipped and everybody know Murdering got that federal case and 50 just went up and... It never went back. But man, even he was talking about business, man, I'm just getting started as far as with business. And it, it, oh, even with the Reebok deal, he was talking about how the Reebok, how LeBron pretty much got him and Jay-Z that Reebok deal. Remember, they was at huge bidding war. LeBron got that $90 million deal with Nike. So like Fifth said, hey, hey, the money there was us. And I know I was rocking G-Unit shoes and a lot of people didn't like S the S Carters, but I had several pair of them and the G-Unit clothing and you had the beaters if you was in shape. And Fifth, man, he was such a, a figure at one point, if you were scrolled, they said you 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 look like 50, <laughs> even bigger than an athlete. Vitamin water. Look how much money he made from vitamin water. So it's cool just to hear Fifth give an interview with these two brothers, man. Both of them got huge platforms. And as far as like with Fifth making these movies and TV shows, man, he's killed it. He didn't took over it. And Gilly says something I agree with. You a legend in both things. The man literally transitioned from to movies and, and TV shows. Then it might be people who read, who didn't really listen to his music. But they watch his TV shows. And and what what do all of them say? You made several, this man made several stars, not only in music, but in movies and, and TV shows, which is crazy. He put Lil Meech on, BMF, you know what I mean? So I don't know, man. You know, there's a lot people can learn from Fifth. And I seen somebody on Gillian Wallow's in the comment section say this, and I agree. Growing up, man, yeah, I seen Jay come up. Yeah, I seen other people grow up, but it was cool watching how 50 evolved. Like he said, as soon as he came out here, I knew he was coming out with clothing lines. Go back and watch Wankster and everything was printed on. And then I started seeing people at my school put G-Unit on their shirts and stuff. So it only went up from there, man. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. I'm going to put the link to the interview in the chat below. But yeah, let me know what y'all think.